San Francisco's biggest companies are leaving. Tesla left a few years ago. Twitter is leaving right now. Chevron, the oil giant, is leaving California in general. And of course, Charles Schwab has left one of the biggest headquarters in San Francisco, California. And Schwab is kind of done. Schwab is one of several companies that are leaving. And they have abandoned numerous different office spaces. And they're laying off up to 2,000 employees. Reducing San Francisco office space is helping Schwab basically save half a billion dollars a year. And this is an enormous high-end waterfront property, which that they have abandoned. So with Schwab abandoning some of the highest grade office spaces, what is the valuation of these office spaces? It's pretty simple. This building is actually right next to one of the most expensive condo buildings in the Bay Area, one Stewart Lane. And this building is also right next to Charles Schwab building. Now let's see how much this building was sold for. Oh, $60 million, 50% off from where it was at several years ago. This is what we're seeing here in San Francisco. You got some of the most expensive properties now selling for literally dirt cheap prices. Now, Schwab is also limiting a lot of their employees, reducing staff, and they're saving $405 million per year. And guess who else is replicating this? Google is also abandoning one of the biggest office projects in the world, Lindlease. And Google is supposed to make this $15 billion multi-campus sector in the Bay Area. And Google has also abandoned one market plaza, which is this really high-end waterfront property, abandoned 300,000 square feet recently. So Schwab is gone, you got Google is leaving, and you got buildings selling for dirt cheap Black Friday prices. How are things getting even worse? Well, they are because even Target right now is literally locking up underwear, socks, because they keep getting shoplifted. Seems like businesses in the Bay Area just can never catch a break. They're constantly getting robbed. There's terrible policies. And when you walk into a Target, you can't even shop normally because literally everything is locked up and you have to get an employee to unlock it. You know, San Francisco, California, the rest of that area refuses to lock up and punish its criminals and repeated offenders. So businesses are now forced to do this. And with so many of the tech bros leaving and the finance guys moving to other cities like Miami, we are seeing San Francisco's construction at an all-time low. Now, let me show you guys something that's very, very cool. Do you see downtown Miami? Do you see how many different types of skyscrapers that they're building? You have a lot of these new construction projects. Go to Miami Beach. You have several enormous skyscraper projects and condo buildings that they're making to sell. Now go a little bit north, you got even more condo buildings. There's dozens and dozens of high-end skyscrapers and townhome communities being built, right? And then you go to San Francisco, for example, let's see how many new construction projects they got in their downtown. Um, basically none, okay? If you check out their downtown, they have one very, very small boutique condo building. You got 1288 Howard Street. This is actually a decently big complex. 280 Spear Street, but this one has been around for several years now. So you get the idea. There is basically no new construction in San Francisco aside from the very, very small boutique condo projects. That's really about it. With the majority of these condos not selling at all, many condo developers do not want to develop in San Francisco anymore. You know, one of the biggest revenues for any city is to have massive buildings, massive towers. This is how they collect property tax and make a lot of money. But we have entire buildings selling for 50% discounts. There's really no point to invest billions of dollars in skyscrapers. We could literally just buy your neighbor's high-end skyscraper for Black Friday prices. Now, San Francisco is basically screwed right now, okay? With some of the biggest companies leaving, they are not finding replacements. Sure, OpenAI and TikTok have moved into California, but what about the thousands of startups and big corporations that have left? Schwab is just the beginning. Small regional banks are not feeling well. Many of them are moving to places where there's lower taxes and many of them just want to go to Texas. It's pretty close. It's nearby. It's already well established as a massive finance and tech sector. Not to mention the taxes are so low and in Austin, Texas, for example, it seems that like you could actually enjoy the nightlife without actually having to step on a needle outside. So thanks for watching guys.
comment below, and see you later.